This is a demonstration of the vertical mattress suturing technique. Uh, here you see there's already one mattress suture in place. I'm going to show you how to place another. You're going to start with a big bite, entering the tissue coming in through the wound edge approximately one centimeter from the wound edge and you're going to come in through the center of the wound and exit at approximately the same distance again about one centimeter from the wound edge. Now what you're going to do is reload your needle and do a backhanded throw with a more superficial bite and this is the bite that's going to help avert, uh, create eversion of the wound edges. So now you're going to go in more superficially in the tissue about one to two millimeters from the wound edge trying to take equal bites on both sides of the wound. You're going to exit with your needle and then from here you're going to tie it off in the usual fashion using the instrument tie technique. The nice thing about these sutures is they hold tension really well. They anchor into the deep subcutaneous tissues but yet they with the superficial bite allow you to get great eversion of the wound edges so they both give you a good tension relieving effect uh, and help you to get the eversion that helps you get the nice cosmetic uh, closure when the wound is fully healed. It's a good technique you can use it in conjunction with simple interrupted sutures or with uh, horizontal mattress sutures which we'll demonstrate in a moment.